Okay, let's see if we can read the sentence together. Let's go through each word one at a time. If you want, pause the video now and see if you can figure out the words by yourself. The first word is the U-boat with the balloon tied on top. So it's the lighter sounding B and the A vowel tacked onto the left, followed by the double over boy. Bad. That's the number eight. The second word is the lady boy carrying a cactus. Notice the head is pointing downwards, followed by the two lady boys with the nail boots. In this word, there's no vowel explicitly written. In these cases, the vowel is either a short O or a short A. There's no rule for knowing which one it is, but a rule of thumb is that if it's a single syllable word, it's usually an O. If it's the first syllable in a two syllable word, then it's A. Otherwise, it's O. So this word, being just one syllable, is con, and that means person or people. The third word starts with the lady boy carrying a cactus and the a vowel. So the first syllable is ca. Then there's the lady boys with the nail boots, followed by the a vowel. And then the doubled over contortionist, again followed by the a vowel. Canada, Canada, which means Canada. In Thai, you will normally put a describing word or adjective after the noun. So here you have con Canada, which means a Canadian person. And the first line reads bad con Canada, which means eight Canadians. The first word in the second line starts with the ladyboy tortoise, t and the A vowel and ends with the nail boots. So the word reads tan. This is the polite way of saying to eat. So what are they eating? The next word is the lady boy carrying a cactus and the A vowel followed by the chicken. So the word reads k. Remember you don't actually pronounce the final letter and actually it's the English word meaning cake. The next word starts with the meditating ladyboy, followed by the A vowel, and ends with the male chicken, ma, and it means a lot, or much, or many. So they're eating a lot of cakes. The final word is the male chicken, or cockerel, with the A, puppy, on top, and it ends with the U-boat. We've come across this word already. It's gap, which means with. In the last line, you have the meditating ladyboy with the A vowel tacked onto the left, and there's a dagger tone mark on top. You can ignore that for now. Ma. And actually, that's the word for mother in Thai. The second syllable starts with the meditating ladyboy again, followed by the contortionist doubled over. There's no vowel written here, and it happens to be the short O sound. It's actually a word in its own right, so the rule of thumb applies here. If it's a single syllable word with no vowel, then it's usually O and not A. So the word is mot, which means ant. And the two together, me mot, actually means a witch. Literally translates as the ant mother. But together it means a witch. The next word is the cockerel or male chicken with the A vowel and it happens to have the dagger tone mark as well. The way you say this is ga, and it means old. Me mot ga. So literally it's witch old or an old witch. The last word is the meditating ladyboy followed by a ma. And then the ladyboys with the nail boots, the a sound, and the nail boots again, nan. Nan on its own means long time. Ma means come, but together ma nan means for a long time. So here's how the whole sentence reads. Bad con Canada tan ke ma gap me mot ke ma nan. And in English, eight Canadians are eating or ate a lot of cakes 
with an old witch for a long time. Congratulations! In a very short space of time, you've managed to learn how to read some basic Thai. The way the rapid course works is that you build up your ability to read as you learn to recognize more and more letters. Download the ebook and learn another dozen or so letters for free. And if you like the system, please buy an access code and learn how to read Thai in a day. Mm -hmm.